Hello, dearest friends, dearest beautiful co-creator souls of love and light. This is Zanari, Princess of the Sea, coming to you with a new video. And boy, um, it's been a long time. <laughs> I think it's been close to, I don't know, somewhat, somewhat like 8 to 12 months or something since I've actually done a live video. Um, I now have a new reverbed um, laptop, so I'm actually able to do this, so you can all see me. It's so nice to be able to see you again. Um, and uh, you could probably hear the wind chime that's going on in the background, and we have uh, thunderstorms that are starting to roll in here. And uh, so um, I've also sported a new look, so to speak, if you notice. I'm wearing my hair up now. Uh, part of it is because of the heat. It's about 36 uh, Celsius right now. Um, but the other reason is because um, kind of wanted to change a little bit and so minus the wind here hope you can still hear me um, but we've got a beautiful song upon the winds and actually that's part of what I want to talk about in this video if you notice the name of this video it's um, having to do with delusion on the twin soul path and delusion in general in life and this has come to me for a reason, um, several in fact. I have watched uh, posts on Facebook groups. I have also um, seen videos and heard of tell of videos that have to do with the Twin Soul Path in which there's uh, one video in particular of a gentleman who seems to be pretty set on the fact that women, or the Divine Feminine in general, um, seem to be in delusion because, oh, the Divine Masculine isn't feeling what they're feeling, and, you know, these women are coming to the men and, and saying these things and what have you. And if you go and you look at the definition of what delusion means in the dictionary, it says believing in something that is not there. Well, I'm going to challenge that in this video, and here's the reason. Words and anything for that matter, um, and I did a channel about this recently uh, with a graphic that I created for Infinite Pe Love and Peace. And in the channel that came through, it, what was discussed is, is that words and paradigms and, and anything that we've created is simply that we have created it. It is because a group came together at one point or one person at one point said, this is so. So we seem to feel and believe because we, as a collective consciousness that 2 plus 2 equals 4. Well, how do we really know 2 plus 2 is 4? It's just because somebody said so some eons ago. Who knows? Okay, so the word delusion, I'm actually going to invite people to replace that word and other words like it. Because words like that are harmful. They are harmful to people. They hurt people. And particularly in the twin soul dynamic, in the twin soul union or path or, or uh, sacred path, the heart connection type journey, just because one person is free from feeling something that another sees or feels or experiences doesn't mean that it's not there, doesn't mean that it's not true. I'm going to say this as a generalization, this is free from being a stereotype, but as a general rule, because of the indoctrination of society, and because also who, who we are as the Divine Feminine hardwired as, we tend to be more intuitive. We tend to be more tuned into the multidimensional realms. Now that's free from saying that you know the Divine Masculine isn't. They are also very intuitive. We all are very intuitive and tuned in. Yet in this paradigm, as a general rule, it seems that the Divine Feminine seems to awaken to this, or is already awakened to it, more so than the Divine Masculine. And so the Divine Masculine sometimes tends to be um, a little resistant to change because they're looking at it from a 3D perspective. And they're looking at it through the lens of their filters and of what they perceive, of what their paradigm is of the world that they've created. And oftentimes we as the Divine Feminine, we step outside of that box, if you will, to where there is no box and we see multidimensionally. So for the Divine Masculine, or for whoever it is that is resisting this, anything that does not fit into someone's little box, they're not open to. 
And so this gentleman who is speaking on the video um, saying that, you know, all these, all these divine feminine are, you know, delusional and they're crazy and what have you, I'm inviting him and I'm inviting all to really step into the aspect of understanding that it's not so much um, that one person is seeing something and another isn't, it's that anything that doesn't fit into that gentleman's paradigm, he sees as delusional. Now, the person who I thought was my twin soul who had come in as the walk-in, um, who uh, was fighting this, this is what he often called me. He called me delusional and crazy, simply because I didn't see things the way he did. Now, just because he sees things the way he does, I'm not judging him, I'm not knocking him, I'm not saying, oh, you're delusional for seeing it that way. It's just he's looking in the box, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that confirmation if you can hear the thunder that's rolling through. Um, so there's nothing wrong with those, like the gentleman who is seen from this box, who did this video on the Twin Souls saying that women are primarily you know, delusional and whatnot. That's just the lens he's seen from. I'm inviting him and I'm inviting that person who was um, embodying my Twin Soul essence at one time through the walking process, and anyone who perceives someone as delusional simply understand and know that they are seeing things differently from a multi-dimensional perspective. And you are choosing to be free from that, and that's okay. It doesn't mean you're delusional or they're delusional. It just means that someone else is seeing something different. And I would like to point to a movie, um, a spiritual movie that I really resonate with that proves this point. And that is, uh, what the bleep do we know? If you watch What the Bleep Do We Know, there's a part in it where Amanda is free from, she's looking out at the ocean and she doesn't see. She is free from seeing the ships that are out there on the ocean. Yet the shaman sees them. And yet he comes over and he twigs her third eye and then all of a sudden she sees. So I am in bringing out an invitation to those people who are calling people delusional or other judgmental names, um, you know, in the uh, Illuminati community and things like that, all those videos saying people are sheeple and this and that. I'm inviting everyone to release those judgments. This is just where someone's out on the path. It doesn't mean that there's something or another. It's just simply where they are on the path. It's where they are seeing. And the thing is, is that in our shamanic tribes, and I've spoken about this before in radio interviews that I've done over the years, in shamanic tribes and traditions, and the ancient traditions, and we as shamans, we actually revered those divine feminine who went into the teepees, especially during their moon time, and they bled into the earth and they received visions that were from the multidimensional realms. And so that was honored and revered. And nowadays we call that as delusional simply because somebody sees something that we don't or um, because we see things differently than someone else does. So rather than blaming and judging and causing separateness, I invite you into the oneness so that you open up to see all. And even if you're free from resonating with something, you don't necessarily need to believe in twin souls. You don't necessarily need to believe in anything. It's about that inner knowing in your heart and what resonates with you. And if it's something is free from resonating with you, that's okay. But to call somebody delusional is quite mean-spirited, and that's actually what causes wars. And so there are a couple of videos I'm going to put in the video description here that I'm going to invite you to watch. Uh, David Icke, uh, now I'm free from really resonating with his old paradigm stuff about the Illuminati. Um, it has its place, but a lot of it is fear-based, and I'm really free from resonating with it. Um, again, I'm not calling him delusional, although many have called him delusional over the years um, for, for his coming out with certain things. But these two videos are different. They're not about the Illuminati. This is about the consciousness of this planet or this earth plane, earth dimension. And he speaks about what I'm talking about here in this video very, very well, and how we are to stop judging one another and harming one another in lightning flash just here. So I'm gonna leave those links for you.
Um, and I'm going to bid you adieu because that was a huge clap of thunder, which means we have thunderstorms overhead and it's going to start raining here soon. And that means I need to get my new laptop inside. So I will leave it at that and just simply let you know that I love all of you and thank you for being on this journey and I'm looking forward to doing some more videos live now. And uh, may you all be blessed in love always. Father.